Ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and the story continues. We've arrived within the orbit of Tatooine. Now let's see what's going on in this little sandbox, shall we? Let's have a little chat once again with you know who. He really seems to be your primary dude to talk to. General, I'm on Tatooine. Has Master Kuix reported in? Last we heard, Kuix secured our weapons research facility. She's missed every comm check since then. Oh boy. Enemy action is the most likely scenario, but on Tatooine, anything's possible. Hmm. Why locate the project here? If it's so dangerous, why pick it for your weapons facility? Tatooine has millions of uninhabited kilometers. Perfect for our research. Dr. Godero uh -huh. will brief you on the weapons project. Doctor? The research facility on Tatooine has created a device codenamed the Shock Drum. The what? The weapon discharges massive ultrasonic vibrations into the ground. It damages enemy fortifications at a microscopic level, quite literally softening them up. That sounds useful. Oh, uh, that's not good for my droid. The vibrations will cripple people if they're close enough. But that's not all. Oh, great, the there's more. eventually disrupts the planetary core. At critical mass, the core explodes. That's terrible. Weapons so destructive has no place in the Republic arsenal. We only recently discovered its full capabilities. I banned further testing. Good to know. However, there's a fully operational shock drum prototype at our facility. Oh, great. Darth Angrel has captured it. The results will be catastrophic. No shit. No word from the facility or Master Kuix. You must assume the worst. Uh -huh. I sense Master Kuwix through the Force, but it's faint. I think she's dying. Control your emotions, Kira. Don't give in to fear. I'm not afraid, but she can't die. I owe her too much. We won't let her die. I don't have any Republic contacts there to assist you. You're on your own. Uh, no problem for me. Our facility is located in a remote part of the desert. I'm transmitting the coordinates. Saying the remote part in Tatooine is not helping really much. It's quite literally just a giant sandbox. The shock drum. Seriously, what's with the soundtrack on this part? La 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 la. Well, I can uh, check this out myself later, but if you want to watch it, pause the video. Master, you'll be pleased to know I added extra padding to all the seat cushions aboard this vessel. I hope you find them comfortable. Let's get moving. Ship exit. I'll just show you this little part. There we go. Tatooine. The world's biggest sandbox. Seriously, white people. This is probably going to end badly for someone. I don't know who, but... Hmm. Loading, of loading as expected takes a bit of time. You gotta understand that I'm not running on this uh, highest end. This is not a gaming laptop. It holds its own quite well for something that's well basic, I would say. I just hope it. Well, yeah, I hope that it can run two games I'm planning to play in the future as well, which I'm hoping to record as well. Which is a game that is n only getting its attention thanks to a little idea from EA, which is Kingdoms of Amalur, which is involved getting extra stuff for Mass Effect Three by buying by playing the demo of Kingdoms of Amalur and that way they're hoping to draw people into what it does. I already knew about the game before they announced it and I think it's a pretty good I it's a interesting concept. They're trying to go for this open world style no class system like in Skyrim does but with much more uh fluid combat like for example like a hack and slash adventure game like God of War. And well I don't think anybody who's played any Bioware game probably has played Mass Effect, so I really don't have to say anything about it. The only people who would play a Bioware game but not Mass Effect 
are the sci-fi lovers, which I think people actually not the sci-fi lovers, but anybody who doesn't like sci-fi. But since most people actually, since Bioware really made this mark like with their Knights of the Old Republic, I doubt that would be the case. Anyway, I hope that my laptop can run it so I can record it, because else I don't know what to do. I really want to play that game on my laptop. Why? I've played the other two on this uh, on this rig. I've played the first Mass Effect, the second, plus almost every kind of storyline DLC of Mass Effect 2. It's an absolute pleasure to play it from start to finish. You never ever get bored. At least, I don't. Maybe some of the conversations can drag on a little bit. But I still think it's a great game. And Bioware has now brought their great storytelling and cinematic experience to the MMO genre. And they have done a fantastic job with it. No more quest text. No more... And questing is done in the most generic way you could find it. Like in any game. You know... There is the... Even, there is of course... Kill X, collect Y, explore Z, Z. But the way they do it, that some of these like kill ten of these guys is not a, pr is not, excuse me, not a primary quest. It's actually a secondary, like bonus quest. And it's not like a daily, but something that's done while you're doing the quest. Because, for example, you need to kill these guys, and there's no way to go around it because they're probably going to stand between you and your main objective. Apparently, <laughs> this is, could take a while. Hmm. I can't see a damn thing. How can I do anything if the whole screen is black? My UI is showing, but the rest isn't. These things can happen. Look, like I said, this is not a high-end gaming PC, so don't expect anything impressive from it. I'll wait it out. If it ever returns, or else I'll just log out and log back in. One or the other. We'll just give it a minute. That was something, but... Hmm. That did something. Okay, this is taking too long. Uh... I'll just log out and log back in. See you in a minute, guys. So, finally got it back to work. <laughs> Screen is back, so let's get to business. Uh, well, not yet. We'll first move on. Let's see here. Well, let's get to the exit then. Uh, for, a for a moment, I'm going to just show you some of the area. Just Tatooine. Well, anybody who's seen the Star Wars movies or most the Star Wars games as well. Tatooine has always been in it. Why, I do not understand. It's just because it's probably the first planet that, has ever, that was ever shown into the Star Wars movie franchise. So let's see where we need to go. Well, there's an exit, so let's get over there. Is it me, or does every spaceport in this place look the same? And as expected, there are quest givers in this place. Dude with Jawas and a dude with droids. Interesting. Move on. Uh, let's have a chat with this little quest giver. I'll just show you this little bit until we get to some place. Uh, it's a droid. Sure. Let's. I'm just going to show you this little bit. It's an old droid. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. My name's Fowler. I was told you might be passing through. Uh, I represent I the Republic here. Since we don't get many Jedi, I thought we could meet. I think we should talk. Get my meaning? I'm a little confused, to be honest. Why do you want to talk to a Jedi? That, why is my mouth moving? I'd rather not do this by holocommunicator. communicator. Uh, I've this got sounds a little, uh, shady. Embassy in downtown Anchorhead. Swing on by. I promise you it's worthwhile. A promise from a stranger? isn't worth much. Come on, you're hurting me. 
Bro. I'm gonna if hurt you really hard. I'm not really gonna hard. force you, but this isn't some local trouble. This is bigger. Fine. I'm probably not gonna show this, so let's see where we need to go. Ah, screw it. Nobody needs to see me do all these quests that have nothing to do with the main storyline. See you guys at this shock drum facility. Adios. Ladies and gents, I'm back. I once again have to apologize. I got too sucked up in the story. I forgot to record. Basically, we arrived at the facility. Everybody just... We're just a couple of survivors and we needed to place some sensors to track down where this shock drum thing has been brought to. Also, Master Quix is alive. We don't know where she is, and well, let's hope. Well, let's hope everything is going to be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. No, no, I'm not gonna do that again. I just made a fool of myself. <laughs> so let's find out where this damn thing is. I placed the scanners. Do you have a fix on the shock drum? Collating the scanner readings now. Ah, oh, no wonder the sensors couldn't find it. What do you mean? Beneath an abandoned mining complex, I'm sending the coordinates and the shock drum's deactivation code. Thanks. Everything depends on you now, but we'll be here if you need us. Mm. We'll go for the second if one. If I fail, Tatooine gets destroyed. You don't want to be here for that. I'll do respect, Master Jedi. If this planet and its people die, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Well, that's kind Hope of see you again. That's kind Heron of out. Dismal. Greetings, Jedi. I am Lord Praven. Oh, God. My master seeks retribution for his son's death. I must give it to him. Get in line, Sith. I have a planet to save. If you wish to stop this world's destruction, you must face me. Okay, fine then. I'll do that with pleasure. He demanded I activate the shock drum. You'll destroy this entire world. I know you've located the weapon, but that won't be enough. I changed the deactivation code. Why not let me find <laughs> out the hard way? <laughs> what are you after, Lord Praven? What does this guy want from me? deserves justice, but there are more noble ways to have it. Huh? I will destroy you, personally. A lot Come of people have been trying that, and they failed. Me. If I win, I've done my duty. If you win... You'll have the new code. Fine by Whatever me. The outcome, we will battle with honor. I await you at these coordinates. It's kind of like my Civ Inquisitor. Interesting. Oh, now it gives me something I completely don't need. Well, that's been pretty obvious. Let's go find this guy and face him. Check out my new ride. Finally got a speeder. So let's get moving then to Lord Praven and to butt kicking. So we've arrived at the next uh, phase area. Let's go have some fun, shall we? Let's see. Not very interesting. Either this gen this Sif isn't for real with his honor thing, or he's making me do some weird things before we do. Before we have our showdown. Oh, let me guess. We're going to have it on that bridge or something? Apparently we're not. Fine by me. But I have a feeling that he has a backup plan. He's here. The shock drum isn't. This should be interesting. At the very least. He's standing at the edge. Just kick him off right now. You got your chance. Take it. Use force push. Now. Damn it. I sense your power. Now I understand why Tarnis was no match for you. Mm -hmm. His death was my failure. I should have trained him better. Hmm. I've fought Banthas that were deadlier than Tarnis. You insult my honor. Good. That makes me more powerful. Exactly, that's what I was I going for. The end of your kind. The Jedi obsession with my people's extermination must end. Your lust for revenge will destroy this galaxy. My, what?
Whatever you've been told about us, it's a lie. We'd gladly stop fighting if it meant genuine peace. I'd like to believe that, but I know better. From who? Come. Let us end this. Die well, Jedi. This should be interesting. Huh? Open up with that. Already got the upper end in damage. But I gotta finish him off quickly. Oh boy, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, we're gonna play like that, huh? can play that game and force push I'm using a new ability I got this kind of new Master Strike should do some damage there we go he's taken down hmm Let's see what he has to say. Such skill. So much power. Impressive. I know, I'm the you best. Could kill me. Why hesitate? Hmm. Because you're not a killer. You could have killed the scientist and those Jawas at the shock drum facility. But you didn't. They were not warriors. Their deaths would have been pointless. And your death Darth is pointless Angle as well. Darth Angle commanded me to destroy the shock drum code. He wanted you to die in failure, no matter the outcome here. Mm -hmm. I will not tarnish my honor with petty tricks. You've earned better. The code is yours. Hmm. Uh, let's say thank you. I mean, he is being quite... normal, considering... Well, very abnormal, considering most Sif. You've done the right thing. What the hell is going on with the shaking of the ground? Darth Angrel ordered that Master Kuix suffer greatly before her death. I wish I had disobeyed that order as well. I hope it's not too late. If Master Kuix is still alive, I will save her. I left her incapacitated next to your weapon. If they haven't already... The ultrasonic vibrations will eventually tear her apart. You scum! You should die like that! There is nothing more Easy, to say. Kira. You won our duel. Finish me. Okay. I'm not doing... No. You may serve the Empire, but I won't kill you. You don't deserve it. <laughs> then honor demands I surrender to my master. He will do what you cannot. Jedi are taught to see all possibilities. I see one where you live on with honor. Commit yourself to the path of light. Become a Jedi. Me? A Jedi? Impossible. Your order would never accept me. They will, I promise you. I mean, he is really much different than what I would have expected from a Sith. Jedi believe in forgiveness, not hate. Accepting a sworn enemy into one's ranks without fear, that is strength. True. I accept your offer. I'm too wounded to aid you, but I will surrender to your people. Now hurry, save this planet. Well, that's what I'm here for. So let's go do it. <laughs> what the hell is going on with all that shaking? Ooh, more crap to talk about. Yes. What is it? The Sith changed the deactivation code for the shock drum, but I have the new one. I'm on my way. You're not there yet? Burke and his family are in terrible danger. Huh? They followed their droids to the mining complex. I tried to stop them, but they were determined to help you. Oh, God. Joe, I can never trust those. Something called a sand they really complete. The it's attacking them. Some sort of creature? Apparently. The beastly predator is the only thing that hunts crate dragons. And those are massive. 
Rick doesn't stand a chance. I do. Please, you can't let anything happen to Rick and his family. Save them and stop the shock drum. Hurry! I was planning to. Now let me move. Okay. Let's first see if Kira has any use for it. Because I gave her something a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty much better. What will it look like on her? I can live with that. Well, let's get moving. We got a world to save. Again. What is it with Jedi and the world saving actions that they take? Seriously? So, uh, next part you will see me saving the world. Saving the world. See you guys.